Hello, welcome to Family Gamer TV. We've been playing through Play World Superheroes. Really excited about this game. It's a new title from the talent that brought us Wipeout, that brought us Motorstorm. So used to really getting the most out of systems doing those launch titles. Based in England, based in the UK, um, in Liverpool. It's a game, let's get it started, uh, that combines crafting but also a superhero action not unlike Disney Infinity. Something like a cross between um, Tearaway, Little Big Planet, and the creation side there and um, the action, the impact of something like Disney Infinity. And here's our, here's our superhero, our kid covered in cardboard boxes. But of course, in his imagination, he's a superhero. So let's have a look around the garden. Um, in each of the corners, as you'll know if you've seen our other videos, and do check those out because you can sort of see how the game progresses. Each of those corners is a way to go into the superhero world. And you see him transform into the superhero. Some recycling there, we can do a recycling challenge. Um, but what I want to do actually is to go over, we've been playing through these rocket boot challenges. I didn't manage to finish it last time, so I'm hoping to do that now. Earn some more gems and potentially unlock some more equipment. Got a rocket boot on each foot, we've got um, higher powered lasers now, one on each arm. We've got to project our weapon along with that energy weapon. So let's blast off as we go down to the planet's surface and fly through um, a sort of city landscape. Now, I, I, reading this initially, I thought it was um, a US kind of setup, an American city, but now I'm not quite so sure. Um, certainly, it's very different from that urban, um, suburban UK setting um, that we started with the treehouse. Here we go. Some nice moves with the rockets, rocket boots, and we're off. So, I'd love to hear what you think of this. Is this the sort of, sort of game you think you'll be playing is it the sort of action that you like? In the combination between action and crafting, oh, there's these gems. So I think on this level it's harder to get the gems because you've got to be in the right place. You just tap through these, you can see where, they're, where they've gone red. Yeah, shoot these incoming rockets. Quick! Where the enemies go red, you can see that they're about to fire. Yeah, where are these gems? I want to get more gems. I don't seem to be getting very many at the minute. Do, they just, do I have to collect them or do they just come in? But potentially... Whoa! They just come in. Haven't been hit yet, so I'm doing pretty well. As you progress, you increase your um, energy by adding items to your um, energy belt. Tapping through these. Um, and then once you've got that added... Oh yeah, look, these gems are just being added automatically. Once you've got that, um, you can add different bits of junk to it. And that increases how much life you've got. We're up to sort of 10 or so hits at the moment which should make it easier than last time where we died and I'm paying a bit more attention to making sure that I tap each enemy in order so as you just circle around this building really nice visuals playing this on iPhone 6 um, is other devices are supported I think exactly how the game looks on your device will depend on the power of that device but really it could be a console game, I've said this before in our other Let's Plays, so it's interesting to see that their decision not to bring it to consoles but to bring it to tablets is perhaps um, a signifier of where they see a sort of younger market that they're targeting this at. It's important to get these in order. Get that last one, come on. Ah, you got me. They didn't tap them in time. I think I tapped one out of order which then set me back on the others. You've really got to get them in order, getting those red ones first. They go red, move out of the way like that. You can miss, miss the incoming missiles. Like any shooter, you really want to clear these waves if you can. You have to pay attention to do that. Although the crafting maybe aims at a younger audience, um, actually the, the, the gameplay here, you really have to pay attention if you're going to get through it. As I proved my last game, I didn't manage to get through it. I'm really shooting at me here. Move out of the way. Oh, I should, should have ducked. So I've lost two life here. Now, I'm not sure what stage we're on as we come up to the construction area. Got this far last time, but not a lot further. So let's see as we work our way through. So the whole time, though, we're still building up our gems. If you get to the point where you... Um... Sorry, just concentrating here. These guys. Ah, concentrating enough. Those rockets really coming quick. You get to the point where you unlock something and you can get back to the treehouse. Okay, no, lost one there. Go back to the treehouse and then power up your equipment. And it's interesting to see 
all those different power-ups you can get. I know some of you in the comments are saying, what else is there? Are there other attacks you can unlock? Well, this is getting hard enough. Ah! The, thi the, the tricky thing is, and I'm almost dead here, the tricky thing is that you, if you, you just move out of the way. Oh, look, un underground, through the tunnel. I needed to be quick to get those. Well, these all guys are all going to fire at me. You dodge out the way, but then you go back. So if you dodge too quickly, that means that you're... By the time the, the bullet has arrived at you... Ah, I got got. Um, you're back in the centre, so you have to pay attention. There's much more timing involved in this than there was in the first game. So... And we haven't, I don't think we've unlocked any more, um, any more equipment. So what I'm going to do, um, we'll play through that again and see if we can get up to a thousand. Because I should think at the thousand gems, surely we'll get some more equipment loaded. Now, I'd be interested to hear how, many, how much time you spent playing games um, on your tablets and smartphones and how much time you spend playing them on consoles. And also how much you, how much you spend on each one. I think this is about three pounds to, to play. Does the fact that it doesn't have um, in-app purchases, does that make a difference to you um, if you're a younger player? And if you're a parent, is that something which is going to be a factor in getting this for your kids? Do you, does your mum and dad um, complain if you, if you get a game that's free and then you end up paying more money for it than you, you know, maybe initially expected? I, in my family, I think this rocket, I like the way that I know how much I'm spending right from the off. So it's a single price. And I'm, is that maybe a slightly more old-fashioned way of buying games? But for me, it really works. Um, because it means that I know how much I'm paying. There's no surprises up front. And it feels like a, a nicer way um, to drive things rather than buying small bits of the application. Like with Skylanders on the tablet. Um, if you didn't buy it as a starter pack, which I think is the way to do it, it meant that you have to buy it in three segments. and. You ended up paying quite a lot of money and ended up without having any of the physical toys and were limited on which characters you could use and potentially how easy it was to finish the game. So it's good, I think, to be spending your money up front so you know how much you're spending. You know what it's going to cost you. Just looking at some of the visuals here, there's a lot of attention to detail, both in the sort of foreground and background. You can see the city whirling away behind us. A lot of detail, a lot of story going on there. I'd love to know what's happening in the city. There's lots of billboards that seems to suggest that something was happening before this alien invasion took place. Now Play World Super Heroes I think is the first of a whole of a series of games um, and we'll see other Play Worlds emerge as time goes by. I'm just trying to concentrate a bit better here for you so that we can get further in the game. And this bit is quite easy. Well, I'll see if it's quite easy. Not if I get hit. Um, easier, I should say. But it gets harder. And I think the difficulty ramp here is a little bit high. Um, it is still a beta version I'm playing here. So they're probably tweaking this as they come up to their end of January launch. And again, you guys were asking, will it be out worldwide? Will it be out for you to play? And it, yeah, as far as I understand it, it's a worldwide launch. Pretty much every territory will get it together. Yeah, I got hit then. Um, and it will be just, I think it's um, three pounds, three or four pounds, three or four dollars, one off purchase. And it's hitting stores end of January. It's 29th of January, um, Apple have suggested. And I think it's on iPhones first, with um, we're expecting to see it come to other devices soon as well. I'm not sure how quickly that will be. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I almost got hit by that rocket, but managed to get get it. Oops. See, I'm getting behind here. I've got a few hits in one. I'm trying to time my dodges a bit better. Now you see, he went back to the centre and then got hit. Well, come on, guys. Right, I want to get these. Did I get them all. I don't think I actually hit them there. Come on. Doing a bit better. I think I'm doing a bit better. I've got four or five health left. I was down to none last time here. But still, it's tricky. Those little ones on the deck there. They're coming in and getting us. Got me again. Really having to concentrate here. As we head round. Now, this isn't a new territory. Got some fast 
tapping to do as we go through the level. If you miss these, it means you can miss out on a chance for gems and they don't come back. And also you need to be quick, stay on your game so that they don't fire at you. As soon as you start getting behind, that's when these guys really start taking over. So I'm trying to really concentrate. Now talking and playing has never been my strongest point. I'm sure I've really got the right job being a YouTuber. Whoa, I can't play games very well. Now we're getting some challenge. Lots of these little missiles coming in now. I'm I'm okay. Oh, I should have dodged. That one was coming in right at the end. Is that it? Have we done it? Oh, it looks like we've got an end of level encounter here. But hopefully, yes. So that's a nice checkpoint. That's, I'm glad they did that. Checkpointing, I think, is a really undervalued part of game design. And for my mind, particularly in a family setting, is one of the most important parts. Get a checkpoint right, and the game feels fair. Get it wrong, and you feel hard done by. And my kids often will complain that they have to go and redo a whole level. I think the Uncharted games, the games that I play out when the kids are in bed, um, are excellent at their checkpointing. What? There's so many of them. This is ridiculous. I think it have, what I would have liked to have seen is my energy to be refilled once I finished that level. If I got to stage two. Whoa, you see that? I was flying away and they fired a rocket at me as I went. Whoa, that was difficult. There you go. Now, I think that's probably all I want to do in terms of the, the uh, gem collecting and gameplay. I want to go back to, the, to, to our treehouse to see if we have unlocked any more equipment. And I want to see how I can upgrade my superhero. Is it just loads? Now, I love this moment as we switch from our imagination, step out into the real world, and you're like, oh, yeah, we're just a kid covered in cardboard boxes. We're not actually a superhero. It seems to keep pointing me back to this picture. I'm not quite sure why. Oh, look, that would be good. I think that's more energy for us, and that we certainly need uh, more energy, as that's something, an area I was struggling in. Getting killed. Now, over by here. There we are. So this should pop onto our, our energy belt, our health belt. We have to we go and craft this. And again, if you've not seen the other videos, here you can see the crafting two fingers um, on the screen. means you can swipe left and right and move up and down. You can see what's inside our little belt. You can drag things on, whoops, in theory, with one finger. And once you're happy with it, then you just click tick. And each time you do this, you have a chance to, to customise it. As I said before, I love these shiny ones. Now, what else? I'd love to know what other games you're playing. We, we play a lot of Angry Birds. Transformers in our family still. Really enjoying that. Haven't played as much Skylanders this year as we have in previous years, I must admit it. Really enjoying the Disney Infinity toy box. So, getting around, um, I'm, I've am i been looking at the new 3DS and that's got me back into playing some Zelda games. Fantasy Life I've really been enjoying. That's been a lot of fun. I even went back to some Mutant Muds recently, which was good. Really challenging game that, but really good. I mean, it's pretty much on every platform now as well. Oh look, what's this? Hey, I think we might have more equipment. Come on, I want to see what it is. I'm not sure where we're going to put this because he's pretty covered, pretty much covered in cardboard. Where could this go? Oh, this is like a, a shield. Ah, uh, we need to find these two look, look like egg boxes in the garden. Are they just come to appear? I need to pay attention where they pop up in our backyard garden setting because we're going to need these. If we're going to build build our torso armor, oh, we've got one. I think we need another, though, don't we? There's a really nice feel of tranquility, as I've said before, and sort of calmness when you're back in the garden, and I really like that. There's, I think it's important for games to have different elements that feel different, so you have times when you're you know you're chasing and you're shooting, also, but you also have times which are quieter and are more about crafting so here we are I pop I pop these on the shoulders one oh they're not egg boxes they're burger boxes a non non-defined burger box 
Oh, I know what we need to do. We need to get the scissors here, because otherwise we won't be able to get our head in the thing. Now you have to come down here. Whoop. Now I also want to do something here. See if I can do this. Make it a bit more personal. And of course we have our colour theme, which for us is rainbows. I don't know what it is about rainbow colours. I've always liked that idea. So my superhero is a rainbow rainbow warrior. Nice. Look at that. Really buffed up, meaty bit of armour on the chest now. So extra five lives. Cool. So with the extra one on our health belt and the extra one on our chest, we now have six extra lives. That's pretty cool. And he looks like he's absolutely covered in cardboard. I'm surprised he can even move. Um, I'd love to know if you guys do dressing up like this. My kids often like to make spaceships and um, racing cars out of the boxes. We get sent stuff in sometimes. And often they'll play with the boxes as much as they will play with the toys themselves. Um, but I think probably that's as much as we should do for this Let's Play. Um, we'll come back and we'll do some more of that level two. Um, yeah, so just checking there was nothing else open. We'll do some more of this level two of this space scene here, of the jet, bo jet boot scene. I will also, I am going to do this before we finish um, with our Let's Play. Unlock this. The Play World entrance will open when you upgrade your jet boots. So I need to upgrade my jet boots, but I can't do that yet. So if you have not um, subscribed to Family Gamer TV, if this maybe is your first video and you're wondering what all this is about, well, we cover games for families. We like to um, have some stuff that's maybe entertaining for younger, younger players. We, we all try them out. We get kids playing them. We go and visit families. But also we like to have something that you can show your mums and dads as well so that you can say, hey, look at this. This is a game. Here's some, here's some information for grown-ups as well. So we try and do both those things. If you like that, then subscribe to the channel. And um, when we have our next video, it means you'll be able to get a little notification. It will pop up in your YouTube profile or maybe an email. Um, and that means you won't miss any. So thanks for watching. We, we really appreciate you having you along for our Play World Superheroes ride. But for now, that's all from Family Gamer TV.